Hey Gary, it's Elijah. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you three things you can do today to help bring in more customers for your business. Uh, you're probably asking, why would I do this and what's in it for me? Well, I kind of feel how business owners feel. Oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running business to learn about the internet and how it can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation they have to hire someone is they don't know who's an expert and who isn't. And I found that by giving out free plans of attack of actual things that can be done to impact your business for free has resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you, Elijah, please do this for me. So by the end of this video, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks on my sleeve that can help your business, shoot me a message and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video, you simply want to take the free plan of attack and do it yourself, that works for me too. Um, so now let me get into three things I want to show you to bring your, your competition to, to bring your company over your competition. Um, so content. You guys need at least 1500 words to be optimized with Google. You guys have about 450 to 500 words. Um, <coughs> excuse me. These guys over here are your competitors and they go about mm, 300 words in content. Very beatable. So I'm gonna come back over to a, a, cool, a, a little tool I use called Arefs. It's pretty nice. It's not free, but there's a free tool called SEO Quake that you can use. Um, and it'll, it'll actually show you how your site's ranking and like what your keywords are. So every month, people are searching for virtual homeschool gym San Diego, right? Um, or a San Diego virtual homeschool gym. What that means is. Seventy five hundred times in a month, you guys can be clicked on and have a potential customer come in. Um, so I want to show you kind of like your keywords over here. Like you guys only have one keyword. Uh, it's that's horrible. You cannot have one keyword, and this isn't even a keyword. Abby Hubbard is is a specific person. So when you link to this, it's gonna it's not gonna take you. To, it's not gonna pull up anything. If someone wants to search search this word only, is how they find you. If you look at your competition. Your competition is keywords. They've got about, um, it looks like 2,000 keywords, 2,406 keywords. They got a couple different languages too. Uh, but this one here is sending a virtual school. It's ranking, it's getting 79 people a month just off of that one. There's another one, SD Virtual Schools. That's 60 people a month coming in. Um, Online school San Diego, that's 36 people a month coming in. These are pretty high. These are some keywords that are really high ranking, uh, which is a really big deal um, because that's how many customers you're missing out on every month. 79, 63, 60, 42, 36, 32, 25. Every month you miss out on, on these based on the keywords that they're using because you don't have any keywords and you need those. Um, a lot of people use ads, right? Like if you look down here, there are some ads. Um, you're starting to see Google puts these ads at the bottom because a lot of people don't really look at ads. They've had bad experiences in the past or they just don't, they have ad blockers on their, on their search engines. They just don't really bother with it. And, and I get it. So the next thing to talk about would be citation. Um, so I want to talk about this thing called Google Maps um, or Google Map Pack. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. But on these results, you can see the business name. The address, the phone number. So these, this is pretty much called NAPS, aka NAPS, right? Um, so you're probably wondering how can you get on, how, how can you get on Google Maps? Um, well, I told you, I use a little device called WhiteSpark. WhiteSpark is like 30 to 70 bucks a month. Anyway, it'll come in here, it'll show you the citations for a business. So your business has about 11 citations. Uh, your competition is ranking in the whole 64. If you look at citations, citations are things like uh, where you can submit to be listed on, where you can submit to be listed on. So you can submit to be listed at medium.com. This is, uh, uh, looks like this might be a blog of some sort that they ask to be a part of. Bing, obviously, Search Engine US News, uh, Crunchbase. Uh, it's an organization they probably partner with. Realtor.com, MapQuest.com, YellowPages.com. All of these things that you see, 
right now, because of this tool, I'm able to see, which means that I can make you um, a part of the same thing. You can get cited for the same exact thing. That's good news. It means that all 64 of these citations, <clears throat> sources can be your sources. No big deal whatsoever. So then that kind of brings me to my next question, or not question, but my next statement about how to help you get on uh, the front page of Google. How do I help you get on the front page of Google? So if you look up here, these little sites, these little links right here, we call these things like link juice. But I'm going to show you this, the same software I use, which is AREFs, um, to go over these links. These backlinks are kind of like how Google says, hey, you got site authority or something. What that means is that you're popular. So there's a site that, uh, there's a, a site A that you go to. Let's say I'm going to, actually, let's use your competitor since you don't have any Google use your competitors. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's say I'm going to, this is askateacher.com. So let's say this is site A. I, I go to this link here, askateacher.com. Um, somewhere in here, they point back to site B, which is the San Diego Virtual School. So here it is, San Diego Virtual School. I click on it, and it's going to take me to San Diego Virtual School. So because of that link, that link between these two sites, Google said, hey, this guy here is super trustworthy. These, this page is super trustworthy. It's got higher ranking authority, which is why it's going to rank higher in Google. So you're probably asking, like, how do you get backlinks? Well, anything that I can see on here, all these that I can see, all 444 of them that I can see, we can get access to which means that you can be directly linked to the house. That means that anything that they're linking to over here, unless it's some personal page that they've owned and created as a blog, you can link to. Which I, I don't want to tap into talking about how to link you to your own personal pages and blogs, but that's a whole different discussion. So these backlinks are super important because this will give Google the trust that says that you're an authentic website and that you're able to come back, that you're, you're going to be... Um, you know, pretty popular and you're you're trustworthy that people are, are going to, to to want to visit you and give you business. So we talked about a couple different things. Let me go back and I'm gonna go over exactly everything we talked about again. We talked about content number one. You need at least 1500 words on this front page, right? Citation. We talked about how many citations you need. You need 200 to 300 citations in order to give us the landslide of your competition. 64 is nothing. Anything they have we can get. Lastly, backlinks. You have no backlinks. You need backlinks. That's your trust. That's your trust factor. Google's not going to put you on the front page of Google if you don't have backlinks. And anything you see in here, we can get access to. So, if you want to implement everything that I've taught you on this, I'm 100% cool with that. You know what I mean? Like, if you're wondering, this is too much for you, what can I do right now to help you? Um, you can give me a call. My telephone number is 858-356-6216, and we can talk about ways that I can definitely help you expand and grow your business in a different way. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, man. I'm super stoked at, at whatever happens in the future for you regardless. Um, and again, if you want to chat or if you, if you have any other questions, just give me a call back at 858-356-6216. All right, man. Thanks.